back again and today we would be learning how to um, make a random password generator okay so uh, there are two things which we would be okay what is a password password we need password basically to protect our account right and it is something which is just known to me uh, so that no one can get inside my account. Simply, uh, the easiest example which is in front of me, that is Facebook. Facebook, uh, if you use Facebook, definitely you're not going to uh, just sign in like this. I mean, if just give your number and then you are signed in. That That's, everyone can then sign in your account, right? But we need a password that is just known to you. And... Definitely, if you just write down one, two, three, four, five, six, or your name, that's easy to guess, right? So, to avoid that, let's make a password, random password generator. For that, we will be using two modules, especially two modules. Um, the first one would be random module, and the second one would be the module uh, which is named as string, which we have already done before, okay? So let's just quickly start uh, making this Check 7 project 8. Okay. P-R-O-J-E-C-T 8. And this is random password generator. Project 8. Random. Okay, so now we have a new project over here. You can just exit out. Uh, I was just working with all of them, so I kept it open. And cool. So now, first of all, what did I tell you? We need to import. We need to import random and we need to import string. Okay, now next we need to give the length also. Now there are some websites which needs only six, uh, minimum six. There are some website which needs minimum eight length password. So let's just first give length that what is the length you want. Length of password, okay. This should not be plus definitely. I was writing underscore over here. So length of password is equal to int input, enter the length of the password you want to generate, okay? Let me just give an introductory line. Current uh, hello. Uh, let's C R E A create a strong password for you. Okay, length of the password is this. Now, next is, let's say I talk about, we need, what are the three things, four things we need? We need lower keys, we need upper keys, we need numbers, and we need symbols, right? These are the four things which is required. The lower, that means small a, small v. Upper means uh, capital A, capital B. Uh, number, definitely all the digits. And... Na, uh, symbols as well, right? So let me just take all of them. Lower letters is equal to uh, string string dot a ASCII. See, there is uppercase and lowercase. So I'll take lowercase since I was working with lowercase. Up 
upper underscore letters is equal to string dot ASCII uppercase. Okay. Now I told you we'll take number as well, right? So for that it will be string string dot digits. Okay. And last but not the least, I told you symbols, right? So for symbols, we will take it as string dot punctuations. Okay. Now, uh, now the the data the data that means what all we have over here so i'll take lower letters plus upper letters plus number plus symbols let's print it also print the data wow lovely print the data and then i'll write down let's take Choose equal. Now have a look. What random will do? Random dot sample. Now see population k and counts. These are the three things which is required. Let's see. Uh, in I'll just take um, the data, comma, and the length. Okay length of the password. So these are the two things which I'm taking. One is definitely optional. Let me show this to you once. So if I go to sample, have a look. Uh, control F, control V. So uh, uh, here you go. Let's search. Sample is a function. So what does def sample does? Def sample what does it take in first? It, it is self, population, and k. Now, k is the unique random elements from population sequence or set. What is the population? Population is basically what are the things you want to choose it from. Okay. That is what the population over here means. That means it can be any range, the whole range. And the whole range over here right now is present in the data. Okay. So now this, I, I hope you understood this. Right. So if you haven't, uh, just go to random.py yourself and read this whole once. If you still don't understand, then feel free to comment down below. I'll try to explain it to you in words much more in a in 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 much more simpler way. Just to make it look better. All right, so now next line. Um, we need to now join whatever it has chosen, right? So that will be our password. Password is equal to, we'll join it. I'm sure you remember how to join stuff. Join, what do we need to join? We need to join, choose. I guess chosen would be a better word, but that's okay. Print password. Let's right click. Oh, create CR. E A T E. Okay, cool. Right click, run. Hello, let's create a strong password. Enter the length of the password you want to generate. Let's say I want to generate 10. So this is what my password looks like. And this is C, small A, capital now, then you have numbers, then you have the punctuations all present over here. So that's why I wrote print data so that I can show you. Okay, so now let me just run once again. And if I write down, uh-oh, 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 over here, 
If I write down six over here, it'll give me this more of a look like a drawing or a design. Yeah, you have a small O over here. So it's basically having this is completely random, right? All right. So now let's um go to our work with our next and the last big project. And the name of the project is Tic Tac Toe. So it will be the classic Tic Tac Toe. Uh, just like the dice roller simulator we made it, we will make something of like that itself. It will look cool, definitely. So let's meet on the next video where we would be learning about Tic Tac Toe. Till then, have a good day and happy learning, Python.